guys, I'm really happy, I'm really proud. I'm trying to show some restraint here because I know that a lot of people are down bad, but now is the opportunity for you to act. And clearly from the emails today, I've helped many of you sidestep this crash. I'm very proud and very happy of that. Thank you for sharing it. But it wasn't my achievement. Despite the videos I've put out, the tool set with Lars Online, opening my own process to you, the course that so many of you took, the newsletter, that wasn't what saved you. It was you stepping up, taking those tools, taking those insights, being captain of your own ship, quitting listening to others on social media and taking own charge. Lars Online flipped blue, trend turned down, support broke, we got stopped out, Lars Online turned down again. So we pressed the sell button. Only you can do it in the end and you will only do it if you feel confident on why and feel in charge. Someone wrote I didn't say it clearly, I did, here in the TA report from April 15th. I wrote it, I reduced exposure even further, down to the least Bitcoin exposure I've had in quite some time. Let's open the latest report from Friday May 6th, Lars Online still down. Will a larger price dump still happen, just delayed or will it turn back up earlier? I don't know, but the good news is that while I think a lot, I analyze a lot, at the end of the day I come back to the simplicity of my process. I won't buy it all back here based on some hunch or speculation. Lars Online remains solid down. We are not at any generational support levels here. So for now I just wait. This was then a 35k and I wrote from a pure charting perspective it does look a lot like a bear flag that confirmed breakdown. First leg, bear flag, second leg. That was a lot of words, but as I wrote, I always come back to the simplicity of my process. Large line was gold, then it flipped blue, support broke. I sell. It's really so simple. But what about Luna then? I have an old Luna video from two months ago. And there I said I wanted to see two specific things happening for me to go big on that one. And neither of those two things happened. But when I made the video, this project looked good, promising in my eyes. It's precisely the time you feel that you don't need a stop loss, that you really need it. And literally, the last thing I said in the video before Hey Door was if you place a stop loss below, please like and subscribe. A stop loss below this level, which was at 0 0.002. And in the same TA report we looked at earlier from 15th of April, should it break, I'll exit the remainder of my Luna position for now. So when was that? Okay, now we really need to work to zoom in here. So that was here on May 7th. Then the whole of May 7th and the whole of May 8th, we closed below support. So two full days to notice that the stop had hit and get out. But say that we didn't do this kind of extra analysis. We just care about USD. We don't care about TA. We just look at the color of Lotion Line, Luna versus USD. Zero thinking. So what happened then? Okay, we have to zoom in again here. Yeah, so at this point it probably felt like it flipped blue kind of late. Lagging indicator, as someone put it. So it flipped blue somewhere between here. On May 9th at $60, it was definitely blue, so let's take that. I talked about this defensive approach already in the old Luna video, so let's see what I said there. And not risk holding it if it turns down. We would have entered here at about 30 cents. Then this dump here would have taken us by surprise. We would actually have lost the 0 0.5 multiple here. And if you go to the most recent blue flip, we would have gotten out here at 50 58 and be forced to buy back here at 90. So the defensive approach of not holding through downturns would have cost us about 4x from this move. So we're at 91 now, say that we entered at 0.3 and 4x of that move we didn't catch. But we got 76x from this move without any downside exposure. So let's repeat the calculation now then. So after this disaster and let's take the worst case scenario with late exit by not looking at the BTC chart, we just take the $60 blue flip. I hope you see the point here. In retrospect, it seemed obvious that those two blue flips here and here were just blips. And when I made the previous video, it seemed so stupid to everyone to exit and re-enter. You lost 4x by following that strategy. Why not just hodl? Well, here you have the answer. Because the third time it flipped blue. It wasn't a fake. We got out here instead of here. So 60 divided by 0.3 divided by 4 
gives 50. So you got 50x up, 5000% by applying this process. If you instead got in early and followed the HODL meme, so you bought at 30 cents and now it's worth 3 cents, so you're down 90%. And from the top you're down 99.97%. When I made that video I didn't think this would happen. I like the project like everyone else. I just wanted to see a few more things happen, a few more proofs. Then they didn't happen. But at that time I thought they would. At the time I didn't think I needed a stop loss. I got dragged into the hype train as everyone else. Those are the trades where you need the stop loss the most. It's precisely because the hype that you need this hard cold process to resist it. If I had just relied on my guts this would have been a disaster for me too. I'm human too. I would have bought big into this one and then lost everything, hodling it down. It's because I have a process that I've written down on a piece of paper. It's because I have a tool that's staring me in the face. As much as I rub my eyes, it's still blue. This isn't about trade analysis. There are lots of great analysis tools. This is about execution. That is what is hard. That's what I try to solve with my process. Oh, it's getting warm. I struggle with how to say this because I feel I come off as selling. And I didn't open my process and my toolset to others for that reason. I opened it because it helps me extend my network with more like-minded people, sharing a process, sharing a toolset. And I like being of use. The price is set to filter. Because I don't want to invest my time with people who just want to fiddle around a little. I take this seriously. Then I want to spend my time with other people who also take it seriously. Take it guys, put in the time and the effort. Study the course, get the large online tools, print the process on a piece of paper, stick it next to your monitor, do the exercises, move from the back seat to be the captain of your ship. That's the best advice I can ever give. I don't want to talk about discounts. I don't give discounts because I'm not here to sell. But if you go here www.ctolarsson.com, press course and indicator and you look closely, you see that I'm very nice here. I haven't fully adjusted the price denominated in BTC after the price drop in BTC versus the dollar. So if you're smart, just saying I will adjust this back. So it's again equivalent to 2318, probably tomorrow, meaning there will be a higher number here in BTC. Now let's talk about Luna and where we are at this precise moment. Here we're looking at Luna versus USD on Binance, which was the highest liquidity pair. And you can see where this is going. didn't go so well. So total buy side liquidity right now is 12 million dollars. That may sound like a lot but it really isn't and a few hours ago it was 4 million dollars. With the billions we're talking about in crypto that is really nothing. But what I don't get is that why is USD still here worth 7 billion dollars. There's no longer any way to redeem it or am I missing something here? Is there a way to redeem it for something? If you know please write in the comments. Am I missing something? I read this long thread and it's safe to say that I'm pretty good with mathematics and I didn't get it. I really didn't get it goes on and on and on here. Have they just managed to obfuscate the relationship between UST and Luna to the point that no one really gets it? Is that why UST isn't tanking now that Luna is worth zero? So where do markets go from here? Well, there are really only two options now. You who are a long-term subscriber to the channel, you know that I've been drawing this for months now. And now the dip actually happened. We reached the target for my dream scenario entry. Then I've drawn it back up. So now I have bought because this is a range support plus the expanding channel that I've talked about. A classic Wyckoff play. The market manipulators scare everyone to death by running it past the previous lows. Liquidating the last bull and then run it back up. Ethereum, which is my other main holding, same. Touch this support channel that you recognize from almost all my latest videos on the ETH versus BTC chart and on the USD chart as well. It touched this support that was so key last summer. So reversal on support on ETH 
And on BTC is always a reasonable risk reward. If this plays out, the trend will turn back up somewhere here and I'll add the rest of my cash there. And I want to make this very clear. I am not all in, far from it, because Lars Online isn't up yet. I'm just chancing an entry on support. Usually good risk reward. It may work out, it may not. The rest I will add only when it's confirmed that the trend is back up. Yesterday I felt pretty confident that we will turn here. I did not feel rattled at all. But then when I came to office this morning and I see that USDT loses its peg. Suddenly it cost 1.1 USDT to buy 1 USDC and climbing. That rattled me actually. I had to sit down. I did not expect that. So... Am I confident here? No, of course not. This is a high risk entry because the other scenario that can play out is this. I don't get why these USD are still worth anything. Not to mention seven billion dollars if you can't exit from them. Is someone propping this up? If USD is really taken out, there will be a lot of large players that need to rebalance their portfolio. Say for example, someone has as a strategy to have 50% cash and 25% Bitcoin and 25% Ethereum or maybe Solana. Then their 50% of cash in USD BAM! Suddenly goes to zero. Then they need to rebalance their portfolio. They need to sell half of their crypto holdings. And perhaps in a high risk scenario, Bitcoin seems the comparably safer choice. So they'll go and sell all their Solana or maybe all their Ethereum. And maybe last also some of their Bitcoin. So that can absolutely happen here. And it could happen soon, like now. And in that case, there is another huge dip still ahead. Altcoins are always regarded riskier, so they will drop harder on the USD chart, meaning they will drop on the BTC chart too, if that scenario plays out. Then I'm not going to sit there and average down the whole way down as everyone did on Luna. If we get somewhere down here and close there, well then this whole range is no longer in play, it's over. Then my gamble entry just didn't work out, then I cut it and try again. Perhaps 20k would be a new level to hold the market, or 10k or 3k, who knows. If I don't get in, I just wait for Lars Online to turn gold. Whenever it will be, at 5k, 10k, at 40k, that depends on where the market turns and when the trend is back up. I don't need to worry about it, because price can't go to 200k with the trend down. It's not mathematically possible. I'm not going to miss it. These are the moments where you can either lose all your money that you've made over many years, or you can get entries that end up changing your life in a positive way instead. So pay attention here. Study my course, get the toolset, put in the work. I'm extremely satisfied with how things have played out from here. And I'm proud that I've been able to help many of you. And I'm excited for what the next step will be. Channel is almost 100k. Thank you for subscribing. Tack! See you all out. Hello.